Hey, what's up everyone? It is Thais here. So I am showing you guys how I got this beautiful Bantu knot out hairstyle. So this is a heat free, low manipulation hairstyle that you can do on your natural hair. So I am starting off on freshly washed damp hair and I sectioned off my hair for my Bantu knot crown. So today I am using the iShine Beauty Juicy Curls 2-in-1 Curl Enhancer and Leave-In Conditioner to do my bantu knots and also my bantu knot out. So to create bantu knots, it's really simple. So what I do is take that section of hair and I'm just twisting and twirling it around straight to the end. And as you do this, you will find that your hair will become stiff and it will actually begin to curl or it will begin to bend on its own into that bantu knot out. So I'm just twirling my hair around itself until it creates a nice little bump or bantu knot which is what it is known for so i am parting my hair in triangular sections and i am doing about six bantu knots in the front of my hair and i'm just repeating that same process twirl your hair around as you can see as i show in the video and then you wrap it around itself So this was my first time actually attempting the Bantu knot out. I wanted to see how curly my hair would turn out if I did a Bantu knot out. So these Bantu knots will create a nice corkscrew spiral curls. You will definitely see it at the end of this video. So now that I have finished the crown, now it's time to do the back. So I'm just applying some leave-in conditioner to the back of my hair. I use the African Pride Coconut Milk and then I put the Eyeshine Beauty Curl Enhancer on top of that leave-in conditioner. And for the back section, I'm doing it in really, really tiny sections since my hair is still short and my hair is super thick. So this will definitely help me to create more tighter curls by doing it small so if you find that your bantu knots are too tight all you have to do is screw it in the opposite direction and that will loosen it up naturally without you having to take it down and then redo that bantu knot out so yeah i'm doing it in really small sections as you can see so this will allow my curls to come out much more defined and also help it to last longer
So after allowing it to air dry overnight, this is the next day. And it was very comfortable to sleep in, guys. It was so much more comfortable than perm rods. I definitely love um, doing curls that doesn't require me putting any rollers in my hair. So to unwind the Bantu knot, what I do is twist it in the opposite direction that I twirled it in. And it would come apart or it will come loose naturally. And after loosening them out, I just gently separate the sections and then I just fluff it to get rid of the parts. And there you have it, a nice, beautiful Bantu Nada with the crown and Bantu Nads. I definitely love this hairstyle. I would definitely revisit it. And I would definitely recommend that you use a foam lotion to do curly hairstyles so it can last longer especially with natural hair like <laughs> you know how hard it is to maintain curly hairstyles when you have natural hair just to prevent humidity from getting a hold of your curls but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you found this tutorial helpful definitely give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful leave me any questions that you have down below or comments, I definitely appreciate those and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.